Hey guys, my name is Simon and in this video we will talk about the problem that Sony's newest cameras which are providing gyro stabilization will not let you stabilize footage in post with Catalyst Pros if you use a manual lens or Cine lens. If you want to jump directly to the solution, just go to this time. But I guess for the nerdy guys of you, uh, also the following information are really interesting. So let's talk about the situation. I own the Sony FX30, uh, which is great by the way. Before I owned a Sony a7 IV, I also owned a a7S III and I also rented a FX3 as well. All these cameras and some more provide Sony's gyro stabilization, which is also great. I'm not going to explain here step by step the Catalyst Bros process, but there are great videos out. This is just an addition when it comes to manual lenses. I often shoot wedding videos and sometimes the standard or even the active stabilization inside the camera is not good enough and I love the opportunity to stabilize the footage in post via Catalyst, especially when the results are so great and they are really great. Yes, you have to crank up the shutter speed a bit, uh, it's a kind of a trade-off, but I'm absolutely fine with it. Unfortunately, when I use uh, manual lenses or cine lenses, I cannot stabilize the footage in Catalyst Pros in post anymore. This little icon uh, for the stabilization is gone and this is actually a pity. So I was checking for a solution and investigating a little bit. What I found out was that all of my Sigma, Tamron and Sony autofocus lenses worked fine with the gyro stabilization, no matter which internal stabilization mode I was choosing, standard or even active, it worked. Um, just with 120p it didn't work, so uh, up to 60p frame rate it worked fine. But yeah, as I mentioned, uh, in the moment I'm using a manual lens or a cine lens, the gyro stabilization was not available anymore. I wanted to see if Catalyst Pros just do not let me stabilize it or if it was really no gyro data recorded. So I recorded a bit of a shaky footage with a Cine lens and uh, threw it into the application GyroFlow. The interesting thing is the gyro data was recorded correctly. I was just not able to generate a proper lens profile, what you have to do in GyroFlow to use the gyro stabilization uh, to make it work. So maybe this can be also a solution here for somebody who is a little bit more patient than I am. So basically the only problem is that the footage does not have any information which focal length was used. Because the manual and cine lenses have no electronic contacts through the camera. Since I knew there is the gyro data correctly recorded in the footage. I tried to find a way to tell the footage itself which lens was used. So I played a little bit around with tools to kind of modify the metadata to write into the data that a certain lens was used. But um, also there, this could be a solution for other talented people. Uh, I couldn't make it work. Then on my research, I found a quite promising device. The TT Artisan ME 6-bit adapter for roughly 100 euro. What it does is reading the 6-bit coding from Leica M-mount lenses and telling the camera which lens is used. If the lens has no 6-bit coding, like for example a Folklander or maybe an older uh, cinemodded R lens from Leica, in this case you can use the, the little setting wheel at the side and yeah, tell the adapter which focal lens you are using and this one will tell your camera and the footage which lens you were using. I recorded some files, I tried it out and it worked. So let's check out some footages I recorded with a Volklander 35mm as well as a Volklander 50mm. So here we are in Catalyst Pros. Here we have a footage without any metadata and there's also no information about the used focal lengths. And if we switch to a footage I recorded with the TT Artisan adapter, you see the used focal lengths, which are we telling by setting it with the small setting wheel. Here's an unstabilized footage with a 35 millimeter manual lens from Volklander and now we see as well 
the stabilized footage 85% really really smooth and uh, yeah works actually perfectly Here I did the same with a 50mm work lander manual lens, so an equivalent of 85mm and here we have an additional static recording. So this is a great way to make a lot of manual lenses able to get gyro stabilized by Catalyst Pros. They only need a M mount or something which can be adapted to a M mount. The adapter itself is crafted quite okay, -ish, quite nice. Uh, the only thing I have to mention is the wheel here is not clicky. So um, there were moments where, I, for example, used a 35 mm lens, and I uh, I was thinking I, I put the right setting, but it was actually a 28 mm setting um, due to the lack of the clicks. This is not a big problem because by telling the footage which lens was used and catalyzed, uh, it decides how strong and aggressive uh, it has to apply the stabilization algorithm. So in such a case, the stabilization is maybe a bit less effective than it should be, but it's still okay. To sum it up, I spent 100 euro and I'm able to gyro stabilize all of my manual lenses with M mount and this is awesome. I have those lenses anyways for my Leica SL2S, which is recording right now, so I don't have to too much redundant or double investments. And I guess especially for users with cine modeled uh, Leica R lenses, for example, which are quite famous right now, um, they will be super happy about that quite simple solution and uh, will win a lot of flexibility in regards to stabilization and post. This video was not sponsored, all of the equipment I bought by myself. And that was it. If you have any questions, just leave a comment down below and maybe we see us soon. This was my first video here on the channel, feel free to subscribe or even not. But what I really can comment, follow me on Insta. Ciao, we see us soon.